violence actually escalated, hit the roof. So you can imagine for a blind person or for disabled people who are forever locked in the house, who are told that you can't go out, what if you, what if, what if, and they're actually using that as, 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 as an excuse to actually keep on, you know, perpetrating this. For the just gender-based violence thing actually had a vibe and all of that, everyone is now talking about it. We coined the word because disabled people have always, always been after the family set up actually sexually abusing them. Yes, I said it. Sexually abusing them. Disabled people are sexually abused by their family members. She's got it all. The sugar, the spice, and all these things. Sweet. My love. that you've been sanitizing, social distancing, and regularly washing your hands. Well, that is the norm now according to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, that's what I'm talking about today. The experiences of blind people during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> the pandemic has really shown us plain, eh? I remember when uh, our president announced that um there was a pandemic we're going into lockdown we actually thought the first three weeks that it was actually gonna last for three weeks but ah, here we are after almost two years still in a pandemic still having a crisis but i guess we're learning, we're learning to live with it so today i'm here to outline some of the experiences of a blind person during the pandemic um, I recently wrote um, a piece, I called it Alien in a Pandemic. If you'd like to read it, please do visit my website www.sweetmilo.co.za where I actually outline that blind people are actually a second thought in everything and the pandemic is not different to the other incidents. Because, um, for example, the president said that uh, what you should do is you must uh, when you greet someone the elbow greeting type of a thing but you must remember that a blind person actually holds holds this part the very same part which the president said we must use to sneeze on which goes to show that uh, blind people are a second part but I'm not really here to talk about that politics I'm not here for politics I'm here to outline some of the experiences that we have as blind people during the pandemic so the first point is unemployment that is a global crisis everyone around the world is complaining about um, unemployment it has escalated to another level like every well not everyone most people have lost their jobs during the pandemic and for a blind person in a country where unemployment for us is a crisis even before the pandemic the pandemic just amplified everything it just reminded us that we are seen as unemployable even though we are educated talking about that today i actually got a phone call i sent in my application for a job and they called me they wanted to arrange an interview and then they asked me about my disability how bad is it and as soon as i mentioned that i'm legally blind it became a problem and became a deal breaker altogether which is quite shocking and actually raises the question of whether blind people are employable or does the employment sector actually perceive us as people who are employable i actually want to do a video on that because that that topic actually you know it messes me up it, it really messes me up why allow a person to go through the process of primary, high school, varsity, and all of those things, and then you just tell them that you're not really employable? But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a video on that one. So you are constantly reminded as a blind person that you don't, you're not employable, you don't fit in the employment sector. Even when they roll out your learnerships, which are supposed to cater for disabled people, as soon as you mention blind, it becomes a deal breaker altogether. So the pandemic has actually amplified and escalated the whole phenomenon. 
I don't know whether they are using that to hide behind their ignorance or you know whatever the case is but nevertheless it has actually made the unemployment uh, a rate for blind people even more higher and then the second point that has actually uh, been our experience as blind people during the pandemic is the issue of gender-based violence what i would like to call a disability-based violence because before the whole gender-based violence thing actually had a vibe and all of that everyone is now talking about it we coined the word because disabled people have always always been abused way back way back because you must remember that a blind person is locked in their house they are rarely allowed to go out so you have your external family your uncles and all of those things if they're in an extended family set up actually sexually abusing them yes i said it sexually abusing them disabled people are sexually abused by their family members the very same system that is supposed to protect and preserve and all of those things is the very same system that is actually taking advantage of them and when something like that transpires where are you actually supposed where are you actually supposed to run to because this is the very same your safety net this is the very same place where you're supposed to find comfort you're supposed to find protection and all of those things and they are the ones that are actually taking advantage of you so that is another aspect that has been escalated by the pandemic i remember during your hard lockdowns when we were summoned to stay at home and all of that gender-based violence actually escalated hit the roof so you can imagine for a blind person or for disabled people who are forever locked in the house who are told that you can't go out what if you what if what if and they're actually using that as, 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 as an excuse to actually keep on you know perpetrating this injustice upon you yes that is what has been happening to us uh, i know i'm saying quite hectic stuff but um, you know it is what it is it's, it's actually the reality and then the other aspect which has it and you must remember that these pointers that i'm mentioning are actually affecting everyone whether you are disabled or not disabled but i'm obviously outlining the disabled part of it the other aspect is the mental health issue or the psychological wellness of people gosh not a day goes by without me hearing someone who has taken their life because of depression someone who is now drowning in alcoholism or drugs because of depression and all of those things merely day-to-day -day existence being alive in south africa in the world is draining and difficult with all these other aspects of unemployment and all of those things so imagine here you are you're a blind person you must navigate the world um in the darkness and uh, maybe you have to face other aspects uh let's say maybe homophobia xenophobia and all these other issues not being socially included economically included amongst all these things you you must still be a fully functional person blind and all of those things and at most times you have to take on all these things at the same time and it becomes such a burdensome thing for, for a person living with disability you can't even go to school if they say maybe you are still a person who is still attending school you can't go to school anymore because uh, there's a pandemic you must stay at home uh, if you're someone who maybe found comfort in going to work all of a sudden you can't go to work anymore because you have to be cooked up at home and you must face all these things because sometimes issues like maybe social inclusion socializing with people who understand you that's where you're able to be yourself that's where you're able to just let your gut down and all of those things and all of a sudden all those things are taken from you what can happen except you actually shifting into depression 
and just losing it all together and the sad part is these things are not really are not really addressed as a blind person you're expected to just keep your head up at least you're still alive at least you get a grant you know all of those things but the truth of the matter is blind people don't have it easy just take away everything just merely having to navigate life on a day-to-day -day basis is a challenge in itself we learn to live with that we learn to navigate and all of, and all of those things but at the end of the day it is still a challenge so when you put on a person like that all these other aspects it becomes a very challenging challenging experience so yeah guys um to simply outline some of our experiences it has not been easy it has not been easy but um we keep on keeping on i guess you know we hoping that one day um things will get better but um yeah i actually invented a lot today eh? but yeah thanks uh, thank you guys for watching and um i'll see you on my next upload if you are enjoying the content on the channel please do subscribe to the sweet mellow family hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on any upload do like comment and share the video and i'll see you on my next upload